today in this video we are going to talk about better ways to practice can't tell you how many times i hear people talk about how great a chipper they are until they get on the golf course and then they can't get up and down we're throwing that out the window guys we're going to fix that today right we're going to give you a way to practice that's going to make you see how good you actually are at short game instead of how good you think you are so before i show you the secret you know what to do subscribe to the channel like the video share the video comment below what you want to see and we'll get to work so without any further ado i'm going to show you a better way to practice that's going to make you tougher on the golf course let's go okay guys so we talked about that heebie-jeebie thing i'm not as good on the golf course as i am on the practice screen or practice tee or whatever. Today, I'm gonna give you a way to practice your short game that will allow you to actually see how good you are. So all you're gonna need, all right, is I got a pile of balls, but all you really need is like three or five balls to do this. It's a very simple, simple drill. And you don't have to change targets until you kind of master it, in my opinion. You can do one and done and move on to the next. That's totally cool too. Or you can kind of stay in one spot till you hammer it down and then move on to the next. So the goal here is where most people think they're really good at short game is they'll hit one or two close shots and they'll ignore the ones they skull over the green as like a whatever, right? And the problem is, is that oops, I skulled it over the green shot is exactly the one that's going to show up when you need to hit a pitch shot that matters the most to you. Those outliers find a way to creep their way in when good mechanics, good mental uh, uh, psyche tends to break down, okay? So... In this drill, you got to hit three or five. It's up to you. We'll do three for the sake of video length. Okay, so I'm going to pull away three golf balls of mine that have not seemed too worse for wear. And we're going to hit three pit shots to the target. And the goal here is, is you want to, and this is kind of one of my rules, so one of my three rules is getting your first wedge on the green. One of those three, or sorry, all three of those need to average less than nine feet to advance. Now again, you can take the test and fail and move on to the next, or you can stay in one spot until you passed. So you're gonna hit three shots with an average distance of nine feet, right, or less. So here I have about a 25-ish yard pitch. I'm gonna go ahead and try and throw a couple up here for you. We'll go up and take a look, and we'll pace them off and see what we gotta do if we need to come back and try it again, or if we go on to the next target. I am using a 58 degree for all those that want to know out there, okay? A 54 and a 58 are kind of my stock two wedges that I like to use for my up and downs. That one might go in. Oh, it's just short. Um, and again, you know, here doing this drill, I got two one definitely inside of nine feet. It's gonna help blow my average a good bit. The first one's probably about seven-ish feet. So I have a pretty good fluff shot here in my pocket. But obviously, that's not good for coach. I'm a competitor. I wanna get inside of that first one. And if I can make it, that'd be great too. So let's focus here for a second, hit this shot. Oh, that spun really hard. So that one might hurt me. I uh, hit the front slope a little bit short, and uh, that one kind of spun up on me a little bit. So let's go up to the green, pace these off, and see what we did. So here's our last one. Not so bueno. Like I said, it kind of caught this like little soft spot here, and I kind of ate it up so it didn't roll out like the other two. So that kind of my fault in leaving it short. But let's pace it off, see what we get. Ready? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So 18 feet. That sucks. That does not help, right? So, not good out of the gate. We'll call this a foot. That's about my shoe right there. So call that about a foot, so we're at 19 feet. So I need this to be inside of eight feet in order to not miss the mark of a nine foot average rate. So let's get this thing working. One, two. Woo, two steps. Okay, so we did it. 
but not really a very impressive margin. Like I said, that last one there cost me. So all in all, not a bad result, okay? I can move on if I want, or I can try and tighten it up. So let's try to hit one more shot, we'll go to a different target. Okay, gang, so this one's a little bit of a harder shot. A little bit more of a carry, but let's see what we can do. It's a little longer shot too, so we're gonna take three balls and see if I can beat that nine foot average. Very strong first effort there by coach, ladies and gentlemen. Very strong first effort. It's gonna look really good on camera too, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, little tug, little tug. Okay, second one's gonna be a little far. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as that one I hit at the end last time, but it did kind of hop and spin a little right, or sorry, left. So I need to land this a little more right. Let's see what we can do. Uh-oh, got a big hop. It's a big hop and roll. Let's go check it out. So as we go to check out these shots I just hit, kind of always reminded of the fact that I made a great decision to teach for a living. All right, so here we go. Three balls at first one, man. First team All-American, second and third team guys. No bueno. Anyways, let's pace it off, let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm at 15 feet. Not a good start. We'll call that a foot again. And we got the last one here. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. Ooh, nine, 10, 25 feet just inside the window, ladies and gentlemen, yet again. Now, again, just for some of you to understand something here, right? I first one was obviously really good. Second and third guy, not so good, right? But average is inside of nine feet. Two out of the three weren't, right? So I wouldn't be super thrilled with this if I was practicing for myself for a tournament. But, you know, again, this last one there came up a little short, didn't roll out. So apparently the third guy for me in a worst ball scenario, I tend to tense up, not hit it as far as I need to. Second guy got a little overconfident. First guy was pleasantly nice. So again, it's just kind of one of those things we have to work our way through and, and continue to practice, right, to tighten things up. But this is what a teacher professional who never practices you know, two different types of, two different tries at this drill, what I come out to get. Well, that wraps up the video, guys. As I was kind of saying there at the end of the putting green, practice helps, right? So don't hate a coach for never getting out there doing it, but I'm gonna start working on that a little bit more now that I'm settling down here at my new facility. And I say that and we have a third kid on the way, so it's probably not gonna be the case. But fact of the matter is, there's still good ways to practice that can help push your game along. That's actually a drill I do a lot when I have the little bit of time that I actually do get to practice because I know how important it is to get three good shots in a row, five good shots in a row uh, inside your average. So even though I average under nine feet, wouldn't say that I hit all nine or sorry, all six shots inside of nine feet the way I'd like to, right? So food for thought, if you like that drill, please like the video then. Share it with your friends, comment below, tell me what you wanna see in here and we'll keep getting you guys better. Until next time, guys, make a bunch of birdies.